Yeah, you got the vapor kit here again. I just started working on these cells again, been off and on, off and on. And the cell that I came up with now is the best that I've ever come up with. First thing, whenever I mix my electrolyte, I always mix it when it's hot. Because that way when you bring the amperage, amperage up to what you want it at, say like at 20 amps, that's where it's going to stay at. Then when it gets cold, when you fire it up, it'll be less amperage. But as it gets warm to that temperature that you started at, that's where it's going to stay. If you make it, when it's cold, you bring it up to 20 amps. When it's cold, that's fine. But when she gets hot, an operating temperature, then she's going to spike on you. So I've learned to do it when it's warm water, and that's the best way. But with this cell, there is no electrolyte whatsoever. None. The reason why it's kind of yellowish looking is, is I've had it running for about five minutes. And then shut it off. But when I fired it up, this is a new design that I came up with. The plates. I've tuned them to frequencies. I'll zoom it in. Watch the very top of that. I fired up the uh, alternator. And here we go. It's all coming out the very top. Now if you look at my amp meter, just maybe like five amps. Volts, 14, just almost 14 volts. And if you look down at the uh, water, this is with plain water. Regular tap water, I never use distilled water. Because as much as I go through, Walmart should be getting rich off of it. This is just plain water. This is the first time I've ever had it do this with a new cell design I got. And It is pretty potent without no electrolyte. Now if I bring amps up on it, up to about 20 amps, this thing would take off. Now I want to show you something else. This is the one that I've been working on to run my oxy torch. Turn this on. And this is what I got. You can't really see the bubbles that much. So I'll cover this up. setup I got and that's ice cold now when it gets a little warmer she'll really push it out but I've got three cells I got two dry cells that I made quite a while back then I made a new one it's very tight and very little clearance between the plates and the water. 
So I call it a dry wet cell. What I got going is I'm pulsing the ground. I've got it all welded into a still box to where she'll hold pressure. I still ain't happy with the uh, pressure that I'm getting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this new cell design I just showed you earlier and build three of them and take the other ones out. If you want to see what's inside, this off. Just start pumping the bubbles out. Once I get this done with my new cell design, then I have plenty of pressure to pressurize a tank and use my torch. Works pretty good though. The light you see is the pulsar to let me know that it's working. That's what I got so far. Keep chugging away at it. Just bound to get better. Keep your posted. Vapor kit out.